It's Lee. Today we will be working on tiles with alcohol inks. I'm going to use the Tim Holtz Adirondack alcohol inks. I have a variety of colors ranging from browns, all of these latte, caramel, ginger, teak wood, and mushroom. I have, I'll put those down. yellows, oranges, and reds. I have sunshine yellow, sunset orange, terracotta, red pepper, watermelon, cranberry. Oh. I'm making a mess. That's per to Norm. I'm confused with Norman, who's my dad. I have pinks here, uh, raspberry, shell pink, and mountain rose. Some purples and blues. Let me see if I can grab them all. I have purple twilight, eggplant indigo, denim, sailboat blue. This is cloudy blue. And then this is mermaid. And then I have my greens, which I have bottle, oregano, lettuce, citrus and willow so i have a wide range of colors and i've been meaning to play with my alcohol inks more i have the solution the blending solution i have the pads and the blender but we're not going to be using this today these tiles are from my bathroom I inherited my mom's house that she built in 1963 when she passed and my dad built a tree house. He lives in my backyard. <gasps> this, um, these tiles were in the bathroom. I put in a walk-in shower and took out the tub because I have a mess and I tend to fall and it's, it's much better for me. And I saved all the tiles. I have two five gallon buckets in the backyard with these tiles in. They're, these were just an accent color, so there aren't that many of them. They have a lot of these, so I love the speckle in it. It's just really, really, really pretty. There you go. Uh, instead of just a plain white tile. What we're gonna do is something similar to this. When I went in New Orleans two weekends ago, I believe, there was an art therapy program for veterans and their families and caregivers and uh, active duty military and their community at large at this really cool place in New Orleans. And one of, one of the groups that was doing things did this tile stuff with alcohol inks. And I'm like, ah, something I can do with my alcohol inks instead of just having them sit in a drawer. Because, <laughs> you know, you only want, I, I got bored playing with the Yupo paper. Anyway, because what are you going to do with Yupo paper? So, it, it, I don't like Yupo paper all that much. Anyway, I decided that one of the projects that I want to do now, my sister has her camping right now, which she has named Mango after Flamingo. And... I may I bedazzled the, the giant four foot flamingo, five foot flamingo from Hobby Lobby for her for Christmas this past year. Yeah, one. Um, that I would make some little coffee tables, little side tables for on side on the side of the, the furniture in the for the screened in porch and on the side of the swings for people to put their cool refreshing beverages. And I'm gonna get my dad to make the little tables and then I'm gonna do mosaic tops on them with flamingo scenes using these tiles. I wanna see what different colors look like on this. You can always wipe it off before you seal it. When you're using alcohol inks on, on ceramic tiles, such as this, that are glazed, in order for them to stay, you need to use an acrylic spray, clear spray, 
four coats of it. You spray it, you let it dry. You spray it, you let it dry four times. And then it becomes permanent and it won't come off. It won't scratch off. At least that's what they told me. So we're going to see Camille's was sprayed more than mine. Mine wasn't mine wasn't sprayed as much so I had to add more ink to it because today when I picked it up my finger rubbed some of the alcohol off the the pigment off so I added more pigment today I really like the way this turned out and those are just plain basic white tiles so the first thing you have to do is you get basic out isopropyl alcohol uh, and clean off your tiles. Put a little bit on to make sure that they're perfectly clean and clear for what you want to do. Now, what I want to do with my tiles is one, experiment with these tiles and see what the different colors look like on them. But I want to do different pinks and reds on the white ones for sure for flamingos and then I'm gonna break these up into little pieces to do the mosaics I think that'll be really cool and then do other colors like blue for water and brown and and such uh, for different accent colors so for example let me get this pretty watermelon And you can use a brush for this. I'm gonna just grab. Yeah, that brush. I don't think I need to, but. When working with alcohol inks, you need to realize that you don't have control they will go where they want to go and they will stay and they will do what they want to do you have really no control over them they spread how they want to spread and if you mix colors they'll do weird funky things for you now, that's pretty just like that but you see if you want variation in color you see now it's going to make a circle see how you see how every time you put a drop it makes a ridge it's dry it dries fast it dries very very fast I'm just playing right now I'm trying to get this to be somewhat smooth okay let me just put my excess on here and I'll blend it with the next color and we'll make a new color let me see this with the raspberry bright pink can you see that oh my goodness gracious that is bright I'm liking it that's a bright pink That was raspberry. Let's do a little cranberry. Ah, see, I forgot to clean it. Yummy. And I 
I just got my thing in here. pretty that is. Look how it looks. Smooth out, things. I need a little cup. Hmm. I'll just keep using the same color, the same. Cranberry. Okay. I'm gonna put this on the side, out of the way. Some of these colors I have multiples of, like I have three cranberries, and I don't know why. I just do. That's pretty. Mm hmm and how push that over put that down this still has alcohol on it let me see red pepper red pepper let's do a little bit of that it's gonna be a warm one warm red this is a cool red it's got blue the high hints to it like the raspberry this is going to be a warm one like the uh, watermelon but i have some of the cool still on my brush so it might it's going to change it a little bit in the colors. How pretty. I'm going to leave it with the variation in there. Let me move that up. Let me clean this. And we're going to do shell pink with whatever alcohol I still have on my brush. Because the shell pink is going to be really light. So it'll be able to it can take some more color. Yeah. Yeah, this, this is more red pepper and shell pink. shedding. I 
Look how weird that looks. That might be interesting to have little wavy lines like that. I don't know what that's all about. And now... There's something completely different. Mountain Rose. Hmm. I like the way the little sparkly, the little black dots show through on these. I like that a lot. See, you can just make stuff up, make stuff really quickly. Do it quick, 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 quick. Now I got a lot of the coloring out of this. Just because there. That should do it for the reds for now. Let it dry. And we'll move on to how about a blue for skies. We need skies. We're gonna need sky. How about sailboat blue? I'm going to need a different brush because that other one is all full of red. I need to so saturate that. This is a pretty color. This is a pretty blue. And now for my next trick. I don't know what this looks like on there. I think I'm just going to keep the, the blue like green. I tried to get most of the mortar and stuff off of these tiles. I didn't quite succeed on all of them. Denim is next. This is a dark, lovely blue. Running out of room.
indigo. I love indigo. <sighs> Ooh, look how it's spreading. How cool that looks. <sighs> so pretty and vibrant. Kind of like cornflower blue. The Crayola crayon, cornflower blue is always my favorite. Yellow is my favorite color. Cornflower is always my favorite crayon. This kind of dull purplish. Oh, I forgot to clean. I see dust on there. Eggplant and indigo mix. And a fine mix it is. Clean my brushes a little bit. You could also use alcohol markers on this the same way because it's the same thing just in a pen form like Copic markers and draw things on your tiles. If you're a really good artist, I am not a good drawing type person, so I don't really draw per se. Uh, But you have to remember that it's a smooth, non-porous surface, so the alcohol will just move freely and just ooze everywhere. Which can be, for some people, they, they can't handle giving up control. And they can't deal with alcohol markers, alcohol uh, ink at all. It just drives them batty. Uh, and if you're one of those people, don't even don't even think about getting alcohol inks. If you cannot really push control, but if you want to try something to relinquish control in your life and and give 
into freedom, I highly recommend alcoholics because they're very liberating. Okay, I just put a combination of mountain rose, shell pink, and watermelon on this tile to make a corally kind of color, which I don't have, which I think would make would look beautiful on a flamingo. More flamingo color. I'm going to clean this with pink. <laughs> it's going to have a pinkish tint anyway. Okay. Red pepper. Do something really crazy. And cranberry. I like a lot. I'm liking this. This is very therapeutic. It's very soothing. Mixing and matching these little colors. Now pink raspberry. But I want to tone down this pink with some watermelon. A new color like that. I'm gonna have to do a lot more tiles. Well, that's that's. I'm just gonna keep making tiles, and uh, when I'm ready to clip, clip, clip them, I will bring you back in and. Uh, show them to you. I'm going to have fun. I'll see you later.